Hey guys, fun to be here back with another video. This video will show you how you can use JSON to mod your games in Godot. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. Okay, so you want to have all the data you want to store in a dictionary. In my case, it's just cheats for my game Sierra Sandstorm. And I have infinite ammo as a cheat, god mode as a cheat, fast mode as a cheat, and super jump as a cheat. And they all have boolean values. We can modify these boolean values just by typing in here true or false and then we just store a location to the json file and in my case it's the user directory and cheats.json this user directory will be at dot local share uh slash godot slash the name of your game if you're on linux i'm not sure where it is on windows but i'll leave a link to it in the description below so you can go read up on that yourself anyways in our ready function we just create a var and we call it di dir or you could also call it directory and it, we just set it to a new directory so directory.new and we say if dire.file exists and then this file location up here is equal to false then we just want to create a new file so var f is equal to file.new we open it with the mode of write we store the string of json.print and then we just want to print this cheats dictionary and then we close it to remove it from the memory and then we have an else statement so if this file does exist we say var f is equal to file.new we open it with the mode of read we get contents as text so cat and we just say f.get as text and var contents as dictionary is equal to parse json contents as text and we just say cheats is equal to contents as dictionary and you probably want to close this file as well just to remove it from memory preventing it like a memory leak or something so if i actually open up my user directory here i can show you so here is what the game looks like normally without any cheats enabled uh, it's pretty normal, but if I go into Visual Studio Code and edit this, and let's just say I set fast mode to true, then we could see the player moves a lot faster. So instead of having to modify this dictionary, we directly modify a... file on the hard drive which means it persists between sessions making the user experience a lot better so if you like this video be sure to leave a like and subscribe it really helps out the channel and helps get content like this recommended to others that's all for me for now fun Uber, out